Well, here we are in July 2022 and the Lambeth Conference, which had been anticipated for 2020, is about to begin. Bishop Jeremy and I will be going from Perth. Jerry's coming with me and Bishop Kate is going to be staying and she will be the administrator while I'm away. I have with me the commentary which arrived in early 2020 on the first letter of Peter. The first letter of Peter will form the basis of the Bible studies that we will do together with bishops from all around the world and bishop spouses from every part of the world as well. There'll be a, a Bible exposition and then small groups that will gather day by day to study the scripture, to talk about how it is that this scripture lives in our context and our culture, to learn from each other, to listen to each other and to pray with and for each other. I'm really fortunate because I have been to a Lambeth conference before in 2008 and I'm so looking forward to being part of that worldwide communion gathered together once again. I realise what a privilege it is as a leader to be able to go. And I hope that as we are there and as we consider and play our part and take our part in giving consideration to issues that are so vital to us all, mission and evangelism, matters of reconciliation, safe church, Christian unity, interfaith relationships, discipleship, human dignity and respect, and of course Anglican identity, that we will be able to bring back a fresh perspective and the fruit of all that we have done. And I hope that it will enhance our lives together here. In fact, I'm sure it will. So as we head off, please know that you are in my prayers and will continue in my prayer every day while we are away. And I ask that you would pray for us, that we would be good participants, that we would be open to God's leading, that we will be attentive to all that God is doing in, between and for us through his Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you.